Oh boy, look who's in the house! Nvidia has finally unveiled their 60 class GPUs in their 40 series lineup, and a lot of people have been like eagerly waiting for these affordable category GPUs to drop by, including me. So in this category, now Nvidia has announced like three different GPUs. You're getting RTX 4060 and two models of the RTX 4060 Ti. One is like 8 gigs, and the other one features 16 GB RAM. Both the models have like same specs and configuration. Only difference comes in the VRAM memory. So today in the house, we have the RTX 4060. 60Ti, the younger sibling that features 8 gigs of VRAM. The other two models, 4060 and the 16 GB edition of 4060Ti, will be coming at a later date. And in that, now we have like a very affordable dual fan edition card from Inno 3D that to the Twin X2 model. So, this is what we'll be, you know, checking out in this video. I'll be giving like my complete review on this card and basically, you know, comparing it with its previous gen 3060Ti as well to show you how much gen to gen performance uplift is there. Plus, as usual, we'll also be comparing it with its nearest competitors to show you what sort of performance difference and performance expectations you can have on this particular variant for that price point. And also a lot of people have this doubt and questions, you know, it only has around like 8 gigs of VRAM. So can it actually handle like decent gaming at high graphics preset? All your questions will be answered in this video. It's going to be like a very interesting and knowledgeable video. Make sure to watch it till the end. So before we actually get started with the video now, I'd like to give a big thank you to our store partner and sponsor for the day, Vajavat Computers. There are very popular PC store and they're based out of Chennai and have both offline store as well as online website as well. And these guys deal with all sorts of computer components, PC parts and even build custom rigs as per your requirement, either it be for gaming purpose or productivity needs for a creator. They've been in this market since two decades, have a lot of experience and expertise. In fact, I've also purchased a lot of components from these people, quite reliable service I would say. And best part is they ship all over India. So make sure to check out their website. I'll leave a link to their online website in the description box below, including their phone number. So even if you have any sort of questions, inquiries or doubts, you can definitely call them up and these guys will help you out. Alright then, let's get started with the unboxing GeForce RTX 4060 Ti from Inno 3D in the house. I am like very excited to see what this thing can actually do. That too, we have the very affordable Twin X2 edition and this is the 8GB model guys. 16GB as I've told you will be coming at a later part. At the back, you've got some details about the GPU and that is pretty much it. Let's quickly get started with the unboxing. Uh, there is nothing much to show over here but still, I want to give you like a first hand experience at this card. As soon as you open it, boys, there you go, our very first first hands on on this brand new affordable category 40 series GPU from NVIDIA, their all new RTX 4060 Ti, the 8 GB model. Okay, now this is actually small. You know, after checking out all those huge cards, 40, 70, 40, 80, 40, 90, this looks very compact and small. Lastly, you have some paperwork, just make sure to read that. Now, let's finally, you know, unpack it and check out the GPU in hand. So, there you go, boys. Inno 3D's all new Twin X2 Edition RTX 4060 Ti 8 GB model. Okay, initial impressions card looks very similar to their last 4070 that I unboxed and you know reviewed on the channel. Very similar design, you have a two shade combo over here, black and grey and build quality is also as usual very nice. It's like a mix between metal and polycarbonate and is also as I've told you guys very compact, slim and you know will fit easily in any sort of PC case that you have. So just like any other 40 series card, even the brand new 4060 Ti is based on Nvidia's Ada Lovelace architecture, uh, TSMC 4 nanometer process and as I've told you has like 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory. If you look at the profile, very slim sort of design guys. And on the bottom, you got the brand new PCI connector as well. And here's how the backplate looks like. You're obviously getting like a metal backplate with a beautiful Inno 3D logo says brutal by nature and GeForce RTX branding. Yes, you do have a cutout as well for air circulation to keep the card running cool. Coming to the IO bracket, full metal IO bracket, you're getting three display ports and one HDMI port. Four ports are there. That's it, our complete overview on the design and build quality. I'll just give you like a closer look and then we'll talk about the specs, highlights and all the features of this brand new card. The GeForce RTX 4060 Ti is based on NVIDIA's AD106 chip that offers 3rd gen ray tracing cores, 4th gen tensor cores, optical flow accelerators and also new streaming multiprocessors as well that offer you up to 2 times performance and power efficiency compared to the last gen. On board you're getting around 4352 CUDA cores and comes in 2 variants this time. There's an 8 gigs variant and 16 GB model also. Base clock frequency is around 2.31 GHz, boost clock frequency is around 2.54 GHz 
gigahertz and the rated tgp is around 160 watts so definitely draws much less power than the previous gen 3060 ti so a 550 watt power supply would be like more than enough for this card and one more good thing is yes it does support 8th gen av1 encoding as well and since it's based on the new ada lovelace architecture you're getting an increased l2 cache of up to 32 mb compared to a very limited 4 mb cache on their previous gen 3060 ti so this greatly improves the overall gaming performance reduces the latency and also makes it much more power efficient as well well, these were the specs of the card. Now, before jumping into the benchmarks, let me quickly tell you about the test bench PC setup we'll be using today. We're going with AMD's next gen setup using their Ryzen 5 7600, which is a 6 core 12 thread CPU clocked at 5.1 GHz. It's a great value for money CPU, guys, and perfect for today's test. Motherboard is from Gigabyte, their B650M Aorus Elite Edition. The RAM we'll be using today is from XPG. It's a 32 GB 16 into 2 DDR5 RAM clocked at 5200 megahertz and the tb of pci gen 4 nvme ssd from the same brand it's their gamix s70 blade model while rest all components are from deep cool i especially love this case and i featured in so many of my pc builds as well this is deep cool's mcube 310 atx compact form factor case this has like a very clean and modern look and feel for the cooling part i went with amd stock cooler but if you have a little bit of budget i would suggest you to go with deep cool's ak4 it's a high performance 120mm air cooler at an affordable price tag and greatly improves the thermal situation. Lastly, powering all of this is a 650W 80 plus gold rated SMPS from Deepcool. And coming to peripherals, we actually have something very interesting. So I've got like brand new range of peripherals from this brand known as Coconut guys. So it's like handled by Vajavat computers only and they've got like entire range of stuff, keyboards, mice, you're getting like lots of uh, interesting accessories like dongles and they also have like a separate gaming lineup of accessories under the name coco sports all right then let's jump into the benchmarks now 4060 ti was specially aimed for like 1080p level gaming so that is what we'll be basically testing this first okay right now we are first starting off with spider-man miles morales we're playing this game at 1080p very high graphics and as of now all the nvidia technologies are turned off like ray tracing dlss frame generation everything is off right now and that is because i want to show you the raw potential of this brand new 4060 ti so just grab your popcorn relax and hope you enjoy this gameplay All right, you people are watching this, right? At 1080p resolution, very high graphic settings, we were getting an average of around 125 FPS. Not bad, guys. Spider-Man Miles Morales is like a very graphic intensive game. And a lot of people actually had this doubt whether 4060 Ti could handle these sort of games at very high preset because of its limited VRAM capabilities. But looks like it can actually handle it, no sweat. Though almost 95% of the memory is being used while playing this game. Now keeping the numbers aside, practical real world experience definitely feels like buttery smooth. Game runs like muska on this card even without DLSS enabled. So initially everybody were expecting the 4060 Ti to be close to 3070 Ti level performance but practically after testing a couple of games I found it was like much closer to the 3070 level. On a positive note these newer 40 series cards have like improved power efficiency than the last gen that means this new 4060 Ti offers like same 3070 level of performance with up to 30% less power consumption and also not to miss out the lower price tag as well. One more added benefit is you're also getting support for Nvidia's newest technologies like DLSS 3.0, AI frame generation which are not available in their previous Gen 30 series card. Okay, time for the second test. Let's see if 4060 Ti can actually handle ray tracing. I had to lower down the graphics a bit from very high to high settings while enabling ray tracing option because you know it had like limited 8 gigs of VRAM on board. That's a bit of bummer, but it is what it is. Also, both DLSS and frame generation are off right now. Let's check out the results. Hey, not bad, right? I wasn't expecting that. You can actually do like decent RT gaming over here on the 4060 Ti. I mean, look at those numbers. 90 to 95 FPS on an average with these settings. Budget gamers will surely be satisfied with 4060 Ti's performance. Now, suppose if you enable DLSS 3.0 and AI frame generation, keeping all the other settings same as before, this is what happens. 
Oh my god, now that is the kind of frame rate I like to see. There's a big jump in the numbers from 90 to 145 FPS with ray tracing and graphics also set to high. So DLSS and frame generation definitely make a difference guys if you compare it with the previous gen 30 series cards. I don't need to say anything, you people can see the difference for yourself in the video. The gameplay feels a lot smoother now. So just like this you can easily play most of the AAA titles at 1080p high settings with similar sort of results. It's great for 1080p high frame rate gaming or you can even do like casual 1440p 60fps gaming as well and yes it can be considered like an entry level 1440p you know 2k card. My only complaint over here is that limited 8 gigs of VRAM. Considering the current trend of games which are utilizing a lot of VRAM these days, you might not be able to push all the games to like max level graphics. Sad truth is, it's a very well capable card. The core configuration, hardware, everything is great. But Nvidia themselves like limited the performance, putting a cap at 8 GB. So if you'd ask me, save a bit of budget, spend a little more and get the 16 GB edition guys. Both of them have like the same hardware and specs only difference comes in the VRAM. So 16 GB 4060 Ti will be like future proof for you and obviously offer like slightly better performance at higher graphics preset. Now if you look at the gen to gen performance improvement, without Nvidia technologies there's not that big of a difference I would say but if you add up Nvidia technologies that's again a whole different story. The 4060 Ti offers around 15% faster performance at 1080p than their previous gen 3060 Ti, that with the same price. This is again without frame generation enabled, but with the frame generation, it's almost 70% faster. Now compared to the 2060 Super, there's a big lead over here. 4060 Ti is almost 60% faster in terms of raw performance without frame generation. If you ask about the performance gap between the current 4060 Ti and its bigger brother 4070, then I would say 4060 Ti is around like 20 to 25% slower than the 4070. One last thing I'd like to mention is you might have some doubts regarding its limited 128-bit memory bus ride, but not to worry, despite that it still delivers higher bandwidth of around 554 Gbps than 3060 Ti's 448 Gb per second. And the main reason for that is Ada Lovelace offers larger L2 cache memory. So that definitely makes up the difference. Alright, we are almost coming to an end so let me tell you about the thermals as well. Thermal performance as usual is excellent on this card. It's a dual fan model from Inno 3D and despite playing for around 2 hours also, the GPU is still running at only around like 60-61 degrees centigrade. So finally, I know this is the moment you people have been waiting for. Let's talk about the price. The US pricing has already been announced around $399 for the 8GB edition. So roughly if you convert it along with the taxes included, in India this card might be priced some somewhere around say 40 to 41,000 rupees. What do you people think about the pricing? There's not much of gen to gen performance in the 60 class as you've seen during the benchmarks. But see, if you're a guy using 16 series or maybe like a 20 series card currently and have been like eagerly waiting for a big 40 series upgrade on budget, then this could be like a very good upgrade for you. So that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got complete information on this particular card. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.